horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were taken the wrong. Hey, how's it going? I'm John. Welcome to John's Bus Conversion. Today I'm at the Oregon Country Fair with uh, Tara, Hannah, Annie, Jasper, and Patrick. I'll show what we kind of got going on here in the campground. We're all kind of just getting together and having a good time and this and that. So stay tuned. Check this thing out. This is cool. I saw that. I was like, I'm going to park next to that guy. What's your name? Nick. You help make this? Yes. This is really cool. Yeah. How many people? Oh, I see. It holds six people. Sweet. Oh, wow. This is really cool. Yeah, Jasper and I help pedal. Oh, and they can help pedal and everything. So, including the driver. Six people. Oh, look at that. We strap some stuff up here. Clever. Stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Probably wow. some stuff down here. This yeah, this is, awesome. is inspiring. And cool. it's as big as a car, so it's probably safer on the road because you're more noticeable. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, I would say this thing is definitely noticeable. <laughs> so this is Jess, and uh, I just ran into her at the fair, and she's the one that I bought the bus from originally a few years ago. So what do you think? It's changed a bit, huh? Yeah, it's great. You did a good job. All right, awesome. It you well. I'm really glad uh, you ran into it, to run into it. It's really cool. I know. I was like, how many how buses cosmic. have this paint job? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, well, I, I love this thing, so thanks for selling it to me. Yeah, you're welcome. You're the best person it could have gone to. <laughs> Crafted bubbles ever. It's awesome. I love it. That's what I want. Like I want it. Like serious. Bubbles. Like bubbles. Bubbles. First and most importantly, we have to start the bubble machine. All right. So now. This is a hybrid pickup, and these are the batteries, the fan that cools them, uh, emergency shutoff, fuse, the stuff that runs it. Walk around to this side. Okay, so this is the battery charger that charges the batteries. These are, of course, the batteries. This is the controller that makes the uh, three-phase AC electric motor go either forwards or backwards. That's the kind of the heart of the system. Um, this is the battery management system. It manages the batteries and the little lights flicker on as you're doing that, so that's kind of cool. Uh, these are just various relays to control various parts of it. This is an, an old amp meter off of an old Lester charger that made so much noise they would keep the neighbors awake while charging your lead acid batteries in the 70s, 80s. <laughs> All right. Oh, these, these hoses just because what this is water cool, this controller, and that's important. Water cool controller, three could phase you, AC, water cool. Could you talk control. about how you physically hooked up the electric motor oh. to the front wheels? Okay. So First, you took this, off a, like, well, some people may not have seen the other video, but you replaced the front with a front differential from a 4x4? Is that right? Right, right. I, so took, this, the, I took the front wheel set, the differential set off of a 4x4, and put it under this truck so I could drive the front wheels with an electric motor. So there's an electric motor under here, and it has a drive shaft that drives the front wheels. This has wires that go down to it, these big wires that are on this controller. It's good size, like this, this size wire. 
pig wires. And so the uh, is the drive shaft is connected directly to the motor. Yes. And this you could have used the four x four, but you used a two wheel drive pickup. Yes. So is there any particular reason, or just had it, or the four wheel drive transmission would be in the way. So oh, okay. I didn't want it. I didn't want a four wheel drive. Oh, got drive. it. Oh, right, right. Okay, so you don't have a transfer case, just the differential. Right. I oh, okay. It. It's probably cheaper that way too. Yeah, it is. All right. Can we look at the controls inside, maybe? Real quick? Sure. Okay, we have some switches over here. Um, this arms the electric system and this arms the gas system. Either of these are turned off, it turns off that system. So this one's gas, this one's electric. This one turns the electric motor on, so that system is on. This is a, just a safety switch over here. There's a regenerative braking, so there's a little thing right here. Then we have some gauges. Uh, an amp meter to say how much current your motor is drawing, 0 to 500 amps. A voltmeter, 0 to 160. This is a little computer that attaches to the motor that gives a, quite a bit of information. This is just the house battery, the 12 volt battery that lives with the truck normally. For like headlights and stuff? Yeah, right. Headlights and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> brake lights. And the regenerative brakes? charge the battery when you're braking? The regenerative braking charges the battery when you're braking. So you step on the brake, a relay comes on, and there's a control over here for the regen. It's a very subtle little thing. Okay, so voltmeter for the house battery, little computer for the three-phase AC, uh, voltmeter for the, for the traction battery, and then an amp meter to see how much current you're drawing when you walk on it up to 500 amps which is a lot down here this is just an emergency shut off switch and the, the little round thing next to it is a uh, to adjust the amount of regen you don't need to adjust it very often it's Pretty much set and leave it, but you can adjust it there. Okay, so um, also what you brought here was a portable charging station, so maybe you could describe how that works real quick. Okay, look at the snake got away. Uh. All right, this is a this is a plug that plugs into an electric vehicle charging station. This is the plug that goes into the electric vehicle. Oh, sorry. So is that for a specific one, or do they all use that, or? They all use that. Okay. Yeah, it's a standard. This is a J1772 plug. Okay. I'm sure you'll remember that. <laughs> they will if they watch my video. <laughs> Plugs into a uh, Nissan Leaf. Um, neat. Toyota plug in hybrid. Um, not Tesla Roadster. They have different ones. Okay. No, wait, it does. I'm sorry. That's oh, so but the right. Tesla can yes, take Tesla, advantage of a better yes. one, right? Tesla yeah. uses this as well. Right, okay. Sorry. And of course, I think people have probably seen some of the work on the solar rack. Yeah, it's all ready to go. The 800 watts of uh, solar up there. Yeah, this I got to attach this wire and this wire to the batteries, and away we go. Yeah, we'll work in charging. progress. Yeah, yeah. So that's my that's the... my uh, task for today. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. All right. Now the composting toilet was about three quarters full and I knew I should probably change the bucket but I didn't. Now we got two adults, three kids using it. It's filling up fast so I went into the Nita and I got another bucket and so to swap it out I'll spare you the gory details but I'm going to pull the old one out, put this lid on it and date it and then you just pop a new bucket in there and that's all you do. And then I got some more kitty litter and what I do is people use different stuff, sawdust, but I like kitty litter and just sprinkle a little on there. Helps to dry everything out and uh, it's not it's not smelling. Not not yet. So it's doing really well. I'm proud of it. Find him to come fast you on earth. I can go faster than Jet. I'm Rihanna. I'm I'm Annie. I'm Tara. I'm Hannah. I'm Jasper, the mini grandpa. And I am John. Also you are known watching. As grandpa.
John's Buzz Conversion! Mm-hmm.